this lesson, we'll be learning about fractions. Fractions are expressed as a number over or divided by another number. A fraction consists of a number on top, which is being divided, called the numerator. And a number on bottom, called the denominator. Instead of expressing the term as a decimal, you can express it as a fraction. For example, 9 over 2 does not simplify into a whole number, so you can express it as a fraction. As 9 divided by 2. Which, as a decimal, would be written 4.5. In order to compare fractions, we have to change the denominators. For example, if we want to compare 1 third and 1 half, we would have to find the least common denominator between 3 and 2, which in this case would be 6. In order to get 6 in the denominator, we have to multiply it by an equivalent of 1. For example, for 1 third, it would be 1 over 3 times 2 over 2, which will get us to 2 over 6. You also have to do the same thing with 1 half. So it would be 1 over 2 times 3 over 3, since we're still trying to get to that least common denominator, to get to 3 over 6. Now that the denominators are the same, we can compare the numerators. Since 2 is less than 3, we know that 1 third is less than 1 half. Now we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions. To add and subtract fractions, you also have to change the denominator to the least common denominator. For example, if we had our one half and one third, these two numbers would have to have the same least common denominator. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, where we multiply one half by an equivalent of one, which is going to be three over three, which will get us to three over six. Then we're going to um, multiply one third by an equivalent of one to get to b over six. So it's going to be one third times two over two will equal two over six. Now that they have the same denominator, we can add them. But you're only going to add the numbers in the numerator. The denominator stays the same. So in this case, it would be three over six plus two over 6 equals, so these two you're going to add while these two stay the same. So it's going to be 5 over 6. So now let's try a more complicated example. We're going to try 4 thirds minus 2 fifths. The first thing we want to do is multiply by an equivalent of 1 so that the denominators are the same. So 4 over 3 times 5 over 5 will get us to 20 over 15. We have to do the same thing for 2 fifths. So 2 over 5 times 3 over 3 will equal 6 over 15. So now that the denominators are the same, we can subtract the two fractions. So we will have 20 over 15 minus 6 over 15. Once again, we're not subtracting the denominators, we're just subtracting the numerators. So we will end up with 14 over 15. In the next video, we'll go over how to multiply and divide fractions.